Hey guys, how you doing? It's Harge. Hope you're having a really good day, guys. I want to be able to do this review right now, guys. Oops. Hope you guys can see me. Hope it's not too clear. Maybe if I did it this way, it might be better, guys. Okay. Maybe if I do it this way, guys, it might be a bit better. Yeah, you can see me a lot better now, can't you, guys? Alrighty, guys. Let's get this down here. Okay, guys. So, yeah, I've seen this review. Are ICOs a cancer? ICOs are cancer. Sorry, my mistake. So let's read this. Um, it says, I've been involved in a few venture capital funding startups, so I'm used to getting introduced to entrepreneurs building software companies. It's fun to see how people are building the future and a good way to give back. Over the past year, many of the introductions I get are involved in ICOs. I am struggling with how to politely decline the intro and explain my disdain for what they're doing without it coming off as contempt for them. So there you go guys, you got the guy selling moonshine or medicine for cure for everything and there he is guys, banging it away. So that's the new tokens are available from a snake oil salesman to cure all alignments. The first part of this blog will explain what problems ICOs are trying to solve and the second part will explain how they're creating far more problems than they're mitigating the problem. So he says ICOs misguidingly attempt to solve four perceived problems in the market. Government regulations designed to protect poor people from making risky investments have ended up allowing only rich to participate in some of the most lucrative investments. The way the government views things, if you have less than one million, you are not an accredited investor and you can't be trusted to make important financial decisions on your own behalf too. Access to liquidity for early investors when you invest in a startup, even in the best case scenario, it takes many years before you'll ever see a penny of your investment returned. VC funds typically have eight plus year time horizons. So it's access, you, you, when you invest in a startup, even in the best case scenario, it takes many years before you'll save any money. More investment for startups. Starting a company is hard, isn't a tool that allow isn't it isn't a tool that allows more connections between investors and startups only a good thing. Plafit, pr platform sharing, pr platform profit sharing, utility tokens. If you were an early user who helped contribute to the success of the social network like Facebook, Twitter, then you receive no extra compensation for helping the company achieve its, success, achieve its success. These are the problems, guys. You're not getting no pla pla platform sharing. Um, it's more investment for startups, access to liquidity, and also the government issue as well. And letting one number one is is a real problem that blockchains don't solve. Yes, the government doesn't. The blockchain doesn't solve what the government screws up. The government just screws it up. No question two exists for good reasons. They are naturally mitigating. They that are naturally mitigated by market forces without ICOs. Three and four are edge cases that create more problems than they solve. Okay, let's talk about the first one, the government regulation. US investment regulations have run amok. It's strange that the government runs ads on TV encouraging you to buy lottery tickets, but also mostly bans you from investing in high risk reward activities like venture capital. There is a a legitimate fear on your grandparents being swindled by a slick salesman out of their retirement that's theft but the current regulations are blunt and arbitrary and ineffective they also make it hard for foreigners to invest in American startups which only hurts Americans that said the solution here is for the government to get out of the way one thing one thing I'm thankful to ICLs is that they've given up a counterpoint to regulators control everything mindset now that we can see the damage caused by pushing some legitimate companies towards ICOs regardless of whether you think these government regulations are making the world better or worse ICOs don't actually avoid these regulations at all the whole reason Satoshi Nakamoto invented the blockchain and hid behind a pseudonym was to create something that was censorship resistant against third parties and state actors What's unique about Bitcoin versus other tokens is the highly decentralized nature. Unless the project 
Unless the project whose token you bought is 100% anonymous, no known principles and doesn't have a bank account, then there is a single point of failure where the government can easily assert pressure if they disagree with what your project is doing. For example, not following security laws, once they, once they go after a project, the value of that token will plummet. Just ask the founders of Liberty Reserve how that worked out for them and their investors. So when the government wants to go after you guys, as much you have to be literally anonymous, it penalises you for just um, putting any type of central position. Um, if you want to show your face, if you want to use whatever, they will go after you if they want to, and you will. So the best thing you can do, you know, if you really don't want to be, um, if you don't want to be brought down or things plummeting you know you've got to be very anonymous in that sense it's sad but that's the only way it's really going to happen in cases you think the government stands on these is ambitious check out what the current and former sec regulators are saying i can imagine sec chairman john clayton i want to go back to separating icos and cryptocurrencies icos that are securities offerings we should regulate them and we should regulate them hard end of the story ah shake my fists ah that's what john clayton's doing right now guys and people are loving it i'm gonna love it too there you go john you get a little oh no i don't want to go there i don't want to go there don't want to go there but yeah i'll give you some love next time john you know nathaniel the former set commissioner calls all icos the most pervasive open and not Notorious violation of federal security laws since the code of Humberumbu. Guys, that's worth. That's like the worst. The worst. The worst thing is ICOs in the world. Nothing. Nothing is worse than the devil. It's the worst. Using a blockchain without a need for censorship resistance is like using a rub. Goldberg machine using a blockchain without the need for censorship resistance is like using a Rub Goldberg machine to turn paper on to turn the paper on your newspaper. Whoever gets that analogy, I'd love to know more, but I don't get it. Joseph's machine. Access to liquidity. Guys, I'm gonna stop there, guys, but you get an idea. Access to liquidity, it then goes on to platform profit sharing. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, guys, so I hope you get the idea. Love the article, dude. Michael Flaxman, nice article, mate. Really like it. I love, I love the first part about it. If I give you some claps, I'll give you some claps if I can find the bottom of this article somewhere. Somewhere I'll give you some claps. Bang, bang, bang. You get a few claps. Who else wants some claps? Um, I'm going to give you a few claps as well. And I'm going to give you a few claps. And I'm going to give the next article, whatever, a few claps as well. Okay, guys, hope you have a lovely time, guys, watching this um, review, uh, not a review, just a readout of this article. And the article starts by saying that ICOs are cancer. I need to be removed out of the system. Bad news, guys, bad news. All right, guys, hope you have a lovely day. Boom, and I hope you like this one, guys. If you like it, subscribe, join my Discord, where you can talk to me. I come on live every night. If you want to talk to me live, talk to me live every single night, 11 a.m. UTC time, English time, and um, British time, UK time, and we can chit-chat there. Subscribe and like and share on Facebook, whatever. All right, guys, have a good one. I'll see you later. Bye for now.